Scott, a couple of months ago you uh, left EG to be inactive, then you went to Mob Gaming, now you're back with them. What, what made you uh, change your mind about being inactive in the first place and now about coming back? Um, I mean, it's not so much I wanted to be inactive. Um, I, just, I, know, I had a lack of motivation at the time. And uh, just all the traveling and stuff kind of got to me, so I just wanted to take a break from everything and just kind of, I guess, refocus myself. So was the, the option of qualifying for the Global Finals, was that something that gave you extra motivation? Um, of course, I mean, but I think regardless of what tournament would come up, uh, all the guys in EGs, are, they're good friends of mine, so just playing any tournament with them is it's pretty enjoyable. What about nothing? He's not here at the moment, but I guess he's coming back to the team, so have you talked about what's going to happen if he's back in the roster? Um, no, we're just, we're just going to play this tournament and see how it goes. Uh, Jordan, you know, he, he's a good kid. He, he opted to sit out this tournament. So uh, we're just going to see how this tournament goes and just kind of make our decision after this. Do you think it's sometimes unfair that EG gets kind of reduced to the person of nothing? Um, you know, I guess, I don't know, a lot of teams have this, you know, like one star player who gets all the attention. So, I mean, like I said, he's a good kid and, uh, yeah, he deserves it. You have two opponents in the group stage, Mob Gaming and Gravitas. Which one of them would you consider the strongest? And, well, to qualify you need to be, uh, you need to be first or second, so which one is easiest to beat? Uh, I think Mob would be an easier match. Uh, they're coming in this tournament with a new lineup, so um, it's going to be harder for them. As Gravitas is an established team, they've had the same lineup for a long time. Did Mob kind of fall apart before or already or just after you left? Um, I, I guess before I even left, Tom said he was going to join x and he ended up doing that. And then I got my offer to join EG, so it was, I don't know, it was kind of the right time, I guess. Tomorrow you could either meet, uh, if you qualify, uh, Main Brazil or x 3 I guess you'd rather play X Rio. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, regardless of who we, we do end up playing, we're gonna go into the same approach, and just um, I don't know, just gonna go into the same approach. That's pretty much it. We're not gonna, you know, put MIBR up on a pedestal or X Rio. What do you think about the American, the North American 1.6 scene? Is it going to get bigger now that CGS is down? Now that Complexity 3D, those teams might come back. Uh, I hope so. I hope all the, all the old players, I hope they make teams and come back. I think it'll, uh, it'll really re revitalize the scene and kind of bring everything back. And there'll be a lot more competition. And it'll, just, it'll progress the U.S. scene a lot further than it is now. Well, it could have happened that 3D actually uh, went to this event. And they would have been in your group. What, what would be your, uh, your thoughts when you play them? What do you think, well, they've played CSS for such a long time, they're no match for us? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, those guys, they've been playing 1.6 for years and years. So it's kind of, it's like built in their blood. So, uh, like I said, just even going to that match or any other match, just going at the same approach and not take anyone lightly, because there's a lot of money on the line. Are you going to be first or second in your group? Uh, first. All right, that's... That's a good thing to say. Uh, good luck uh, in playing and uh, hopefully you qualify for the Global Finals. Thank you.